Well, hi guys. Welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. So, as we all do very early in the morning, um, I went out to the garden and I got some good looking cucumbers and I got some good looking tomatoes. I like these little romas. Um, and anytime I see uh, cucumbers and tomatoes together, it always reminds me of my grandmother's macaroni salad. Um, so I was born in Virginia, and uh, so we obviously have moved <laughs> quite a bit. Um, but I was born in Virginia, and um, one of my earliest childhood memories is sitting around a gigantic table, long table, with all this food all over it. And of course, when we got done eating, they would just cover it with a sheet. And then we'd go back later and, you know, people would peek under the sheet and grab a piece of ham or a roll or whatever. So that's like, it's funny how food can take you back to memories that are so good and you just when you make that food or you see that combination of ingredients it just takes you back to another place so I am gonna make my grandmother's macaroni salad today it's one of the things that I make every time we have Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner or Easter dinner or whatever dinner today's dinner <laughs> or today's lunch or I may just eat a bunch when I get done making it um, but uh, it is definitely loved by my family um, and again I remember those, those that big table the big family gatherings that was when we had definitely was gonna have macaroni salad grandma's macaroni salad now we didn't she didn't make a sweet macaroni salad and every time I go to like you know a buffet type place and I see macaroni salad I'll say oh, I'll try a little bit and then it's sweet and I'm like nah that's not grandma's macaroni salad so that's, that's what you think in your head that you're gonna taste and it's not the same so um, I can also remember she made she, this is the only recipe of hers that I have um, and this was my paternal grandmother um, I remember she could not make a biscuit to save her life but she made the best homemade rolls and that is one recipe I wish somebody in the family had but I can't find anybody that does because I would love to make her rolls as well but um, my grandpa used to to sit at the head of the table and he would say grace and as he he was very like methodical sing song when he would say grace and uh, you know and it would go back and forth and you could see people trying to sneak a roll or and, or a big slice of a big tomato you know they'd be trying to sneak stuff and peeking out of one eye are we done yet we're ready to eat so but this is the one thing that at that dinner whoo if you didn't get your share tough luck sorry so i'm gonna get to cleaning up some of the things uh, and chopping and I won't bore you with all of that stuff because we all know how to chop and uh, and then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to throw it all together and show you what it looks like all right so we're back I got everything ready chopped up spared you that um, and I've got a half a box of elbow macaroni noodles um, cooked according to package directions drained and then I put some cold cold water on them to stop them to that you're gonna you're gonna also need some mayonnaise salt pepper sugar vinegar and some onion too not just the cucumber and the tomatoes so I'm gonna bring you down and then we'll start finishing this up Okay, so I'm going to put my macaroni noodles in the bowl, and I always use a much bigger bowl than what I need. Whoa. 
Okay, so I always use a much bigger bowl than what I need uh, because there's a lot of stirring and sloughing and tomato juice going on. So um, I guess when I was in my 20s, I went to, uh, we'd already moved to Florida. I went to Virginia to visit and I sat my grandmother down at the table because she could never give me any amounts or, you know, they just did it by sight. So, um, I sat her down at the table and I said, okay, grandma, make macaroni salad. Let me watch. So this is how grandma did it. I'm only going to do about, uh, like I said, I only did a half a box. I was like, well, what are you making a Thanksgiving dinner portion? So yeah, um, which I'll probably you know, face plant in this after this video is over. <laughs> so, um, I've got probably approximately a cup and a quarter of cucumbers. Now, you want to chunk them up big. That's how Grandma did it. If you dice it up, then that's not Grandma's macaroni salad. So, you've got every, all of the vegetable, uh, the vegetables that she put in the macaroni salad she always put in in big chunks. So you, when you ate that macaroni salad, I mean, you were tasting the garden. It was absolutely delicious. So anyways, about a cup and a quarter, I would say, of cucumbers, probably a cup of tomatoes, and maybe half to a quarter cup of onions. So I'm just gonna slide all this in there. We get that all that's in there. My dad absolutely loved Grandma's macaroni salad. I made it, I made it for him several times too, and he was like, "I cannot believe it. This tastes just like Grandma's macaroni salad. You made Grandma's macaroni salad." I'm like, "I know, right?" So I just kind of mix those around a little bit. So we got that. So now for the other ingredients. So, it's about half a teaspoon, I don't want to do it over there, of salt. I've got a teaspoon measure here, so, but I'm going to do about half of this. Salt, you may need a little bit more, but I always like to do, start out with less and then you can always add to it. And the same in pepper, because we are a pepper loving family. Maybe going to need a teaspoon of both. Because I usually make this. Now I just eyeball it. Okay. Don't ask me why. Uh, I never knew the science behind it, but I'm sure there's something. A cap, half a cap full of white vinegar. Throw that in there. And then just a little bit of sugar. Maybe that's probably a quarter teaspoon. A little bit of sugar. Okay, so I'll mix all that around real good. Funniest thing is uh, when I, one of the times I made this for my dad and I took it over there, another thing that he used to call me uh, as a kid, a childhood name was Fuzzy Rip. Huzzy Rip. Yes, you heard that right. Huzzy Rip. Why he called me that, I don't know. I guess he called me that so much to where I thought it was my name. So people would come up and say, well, hi, how are you? What's your name? And I would say, Huzzy Rip. But I guess I was a really little kid, obviously. Um, but one of the times I took this over to my dad, <laughs> living up here, and uh, he said, oh my goodness. You did it, Huzzy Rip. That is Grandma's macaroni salad. And my stepmother said, oh, she was furious with him. She said, Jerry, don't you call her that. And he was like, what? What? <laughs> I don't understand. And I said, no, it's okay. It's, it's like a term of endearment. I mean, it's just, I mean, even my husband bought me a cup. Thank you, honey. And he had Huzzy Rip put on it. So... The nickname sticks with me. So I just plop the mayonnaise, whatever kind of mayonnaise you choose. Whoops, I don't usually get it on the counter like that. 
but, and then mix it around until you get it really, you know, well incorporated. Oof, man down, noodle down. I'll have that one while we chit chat. I can see I'm probably going to need a little bit more mayonnaise. So, I will have the exact recipe in the description box because I did nail her down on it as to the in, uh, the amounts, the exact amounts. So, whoo, it is looking good. Oh my gosh, if my daughter watches this, she will be making macaroni salad at her house tonight because... That girl loves some macaroni salad, too. And my husband is certainly going to enjoy it. He loves it, too. It's really become a... It's a passed-down family recipe. And thank goodness I have at least one. So I, I do thank God for that, that at least I got one of her recipes. All right. So let me move this and this and this. And we'll move the fuzzy rip cup. Let you guys see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. I just want to face plant in this bowl right now. So let's give her a taste. Oh my goodness. Well, I feel like I'm back at Grandma's house eating around the table with a slice of ham and one of her delicious rolls that she makes that I will still never know how to make. But that's okay. I have the, the macaroni salad that goes with it. Oh my goodness. I, I hope that you'll try this. This is a really good recipe and old, old recipe because I'm old and I ate this as a kid. So this is just garden, your garden in a bowl. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, I'm going to go eat the whole bowl. So, have a great day, and we'll see you back on the next one. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and please subscribe. It, it helps get the channel out there a little bit more so more viewers can see it. So, have a great day.